Previously on Super Cringe Roleplay. But you're 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 not sure how to work it or how to strap yourself into it, but it's there. That's what it's gonna be some inch. <laughs> Alright, now that the riffraff left, let's get down to business. I call middle. Jokester. No. Have a very special night <laughs> for a very special little man. You sure you don't want a room to share? Nope. <laughs> I know who you are. In my universe, you work on a show called The View. You were supposed to watch him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just fish nets in a chastity belt. <laughs> the ogre picks you up, dunks you halfway into the river, and he goes, relieve yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Already did. And now, back to our story. Hello and welcome back to Super Cringe Roleplay. I'm the game master for this season, Aaron Hannington, and I'm joined here with Mikey and Chris. Greetings. Hello, Shadow Dwellers. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt and Clint. Hello, my learned friends. I did I did I set a new standard or something? <laughs> He just set the bar too high. <laughs> also, we have some new patrons. Woo! Yes. <laughs> so thank you very much to, hope I say your names right, King Do, Daddy D, Justin B, and Danny Pro. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Nice. Love you guys. Awesome. Hell yeah. Get, Absolutely. Get on our Discord. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, our uh, team is still broken up uh the three of them jokester doctor and burden they're really broken uh, up then <laughs> gone <laughs> finally made it to the city of five rivers uh upon uh getting there they uh contacted lord maldoon and asked for some assistance which he is giving uh they went shopping uh they did secure a vessel to go uh try and help nocturnal um Nocturnal, on the other hand, um, thriving, <laughs> kicking A and taking A. <laughs> got to got to the uh, pirates' island. Um, uh, kind of insulted the the queen and the king of the pirates. Uh, they ushered him on to the Borman quite quickly. Uh, upon arriving at the Borman's establishment, um, he did go undergo a, a surgery, and he now has uh, gliding capabilities. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> upon going into the mines, um, he did uh, meet some of his fellow captors, um, he also found a black tower and uh, went there to see what he could find. And that is where we last left off. Nocturnal. <laughs> Starting with your favorite, I see. <laughs> That's fine. I'll make it work. 
So this this large creature says, "Do come in, Nocturnal. Do come in." And it steps back away from the door. I'm still sensing like the evil. Oh yes. Ooh, scary. Let's go in. Okay, you step in. Uh, upon entering into this this room, the door closes behind you. Uh, the room is approximately uh, 50 feet in diameter. It's about 150 feet tall. Um, knowing that it's larger than what it looks like outside. Uh, the creature that stands before you uh, stands about 15 feet tall. Uh, dark maroon skin, uh, blazing fiery eyes. Uh, the claws are about the size of a short sword, um, both on its hands and feet. Uh, has a long tail that ends in a scorpion stinger. Um, has large fangs, um, very muscular. Just kind of staring you down a little bit. He says, so another one comes to me. How many have came before me? Pause. You make the fifth. The fifth? Yes. Interesting. So the question is, are you a strong one or are you a weak one? Got a feeling we're about to find out. Mm. Are you some kind of a demon? I am. Wait, I know where this goes. I want the same deal Ben Affleck got. <laughs> <laughs> and that... <laughs> that includes Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer Garner. <laughs> Mine is Daredevil. <laughs> and Geely. <laughs> and Armageddon. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Triple Frontier. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Just give me the Matt Demon special instead. <laughs> the poor guy didn't do anything to me. You like these apples? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> from one from one bat to another. <laughs> it's all in good fun. <laughs> Power through it here. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> The demon just kind of looks at you a little funny. He says, I do not know what you talk of, but I do have something for you to choose from. You can choose great power, great magics, or you can run like a coward. I want the power. You want the power. What would you do for great power? Anything. Drop trial. Let's see what I'm working with. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> White cat. Good luck handling that one. <laughs> Didn't know we were playing by prison rules. <clears throat> <laughs> Gentlemen, note the time. <laughs> I didn't say anything bad. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> With this great power, you will sacrifice a lot. I've already sacrificed a lot. And I won't be happy until I have been completely vindicated. Then I want you to do one thing for me and then you come back and I will send you to the place you need to go to get great power. Let's do it. What do you need? I need you to set me free from this tower. How do I do it? There's a black diamond that the boar man has around his neck. I want you to steal it and destroy it. And that will set me free. 
think I can work on that. Do it and I will send you to your great power. It's a lot of people have hurt me. I want my revenge. Oh, revenge will be yours. Anything for revenge. Yes, I like it. You do have a dark heart. Would appear so. I told you. I will even help you when you want to go see the poor man. You come back and I will send you to his chambers. He takes out a vial. He says, this is poison. You can have it. Use it on whomever you wish. Understood. Anything else? <laughs> Take the vial. Can I hide it somewhere? Yeah, you 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 can tuck it away. Okay. Be seeing you again shortly. I'll be looking forward to it. Okay, with that, the door opens <clears throat> up. Just safe journeys, nocturnal. So where do you go? I guess I have to go pretend to work until it's time to sneak out. Okay. All right. So you go and work. Um, you waiting for anything special to happen or are you just checking things out? Check things out. Okay. Wait for, wait for bedtime. Okay. When everyone's sleeping. All right. So, uh, the day goes by, um, takes longer than normal because uh, there's no sun down here there's no track of time um, but the the bells ring the the, the crane drops down uh, food a couple of kegs of ale after you guys offload it did you say ale yes I did <laughs> I think you know where this is going <laughs> it goes goes back up they bring it down to that one room that was lit up um, and they all start partaking in their their meal um, they offer you a seat around the little bit of a fire that they got going um, they're eating and offer you a mug of ale they're like this is what we do until we fall asleep or pass out in a drunken stupor until the bells ring in the morning sounds good to me Okay. So, I'll gladly partake. So where you come from? Long story. Ah. That's what they all say. What about you guys? How long y'all been down here? Well, oh, uh, Frog Hopper there, he's been down here the longest. He's been down here for 30 years. Uh, he was part of the old guard when this guy came along. Uh, he, uh, he's been down here for quite a while. I've only been down here for about a year. I stole some bread, tried to feed my family. Uh, Borman didn't like it and threw me down here. Serves you right. Uh, horrible, isn't it? <coughs> it's just, uh... Justice has been served. <laughs> <coughs> so what was your punishment? My punishment? Yeah, what'd you do for this? What'd you Apparently crime? not. I didn't do anything. This guy's got it out for me. Uh, and apparently all other nocturnals. Yeah, there's been five of you. It's kind of freaky to keep seeing you people show up. Must be interesting. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to make things right. Hope you do. Hope things do get right. Uh, if I get out of here... I'm going to free you guys. Oh, God. Have you ever been on an airship? <laughs> no. Can't say that I have. It's probably the only way to get out of here. Well, then I'd get on one. I got a question. You guys know how to get up to the surface? Crane. Unless you're a good climber. Guess we're going to find out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Hello, I am the Game Master, Aaron Hannington. If you like what you see here, please like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on our other social medias. Consider joining our Patreon for exclusive contents. And if you don't, I'll give you disadvantage for life. Back to our program. <laughs> he said, pass that. There's no other way. He says, mines, they stretch on for miles. Uh, you dig too high, they collapse, get full of mud. Uh, then creatures come in and eat half the crew. It's a kind of ugly. This is, but uh, the, the island that you're on, or island, <laughs> it's actually a hill surrounded by mud. Um, the one that you're on right now is uh, the closest to the edge of his domain. Um, but once you get topside, the only things that you can do is go across the bridges to the other hilltops. Um, the way out of this domain is heavily guarded and I don't believe you'll get around it. I'll find a way. <clears throat> I wish you luck. Here, you can have my stew. You'll need the energy. Appreciate that. <laughs> That guy's frog hopper. What do I call you? Yeah. Toad sticker. <laughs> That's a good one. Cause now <laughs> they call me Shadow Walker. Cause I I like the dark. I can see in the dark. I'm half elf. Sounds like you and me got a lot in common. Uh, you like the dark too, huh? No. Oh. I don't see well in it either. Oh. We don't have anything in common. Okay. <laughs> but it felt good to see it. Solidarity for the win. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Um. Hey, hey, hey. He takes his hail and goes over and talks to a couple other guys. <laughs> <laughs> Something I said. Damn. Not again. <laughs> Seats taken. <laughs> Nobody knows. Doesn't travel everything. Gonna eat a stew. <laughs> okay. So you eat. It's actually a pretty good stew. Um, it's got a lot of protein in there. You know, keep your strength up so you can do a lot of good mining. Um, uh, the one that he mentioned comes over. He says, Nocturnal. He says, uh, you did okay work. You need to pick it up a little bit more. Uh, you want more ale? More work. Yeah? Sure thing, boss. Says, uh, we'll get right on it. He says, another thing. I noticed you went down to the tower. Says, uh, nah, there's nothing to see there. Okay. He goes, you know, Three of the other nocturnals went in there and they never came back out. I'm sure they're fine somewhere. Well, I don't know about that, but just just watch yourself, all right? Us nocturnals have a hearty constitution. We'll be fine. Hmm. Okay. No, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. <laughs> it's just, well... The others didn't fare too well. I, I don't, like I said, three of them went in there and never came back out. I, I, I really don't know what happened. But uh, two of them, the boar man, one of them may still be alive. He may be in the mud. He did some awful experiments on him. The other one, he didn't make it. He was, he was fed to the creatures in the mud. That's not good. So... You know, I, I wish you the best. Three days or so, he's coming back for you to do some more experiments on you. Just so you know. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, not really. Not for you. Nah, I'll be fine. I'll oh. shake it off. Good spirits, good spirits. Shake, Just wanted shake, to beat y'all to it. Shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> good luck now. Yeah. <laughs> There's catalogs of material to work with. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> and re-releases, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
stupid arse. So, uh, <laughs> while you're down here, if there's anything you need, just let me know and I'll do my best to get it for is you. Is this guy the foreman or who is Yes. It? I need some rope for no particular reason. I sleepwalk a lot. Just want to tie myself up at night, make sure I don't move too much, fall into a precipice or something. Uh, how much rope do you need? Uh, how far is it to top side? <laughs> <laughs> About 250 feet. Make it 300 just to be safe. Would you like a grappling hook so you can secure that rope? That'd be great. Yeah, okay. Let me Maybe see a I wench. Yeah, now I think you're reaching, but uh, I'll see what I can do for you. That'd be great. All right. <laughs> Good luck to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> and he, he kind of wanders off. Off yells, to work I go. <laughs> yells at a couple guys. <laughs> tells them to go down to the supply area and bring back some rope and a grappling hook. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> About ten minutes later, they come back and he goes, this is all the rope we have. It's uh, about 280 feet. Grappling hook's a little on the small side, but uh, I wish you luck. I don't know how you're going to get a grappling hook that far up, but uh, good luck to you. I'll figure out something. <laughs> With that, he pats you on the back and wanders off. <laughs> Guess I'll get to work. Okay. Kill some time. All right. <laughs> Just mining, or are you trying to finagle something? Just do some mining. Okay. Kill some time until it's until it's bedtime. All right. Um, do a perception check for me. Sixteen. All right. Seventeen. Seventeen. I'm plus right. five now, apparently. All right. So, uh... The emeralds that you are mining from this this area are very large quantities. Um, it's very pure emeralds. Um, you don't believe you've ever seen ones this size. I'm just really good at finding them. <laughs> World's greatest detective. <laughs> Apparently minor. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, the the other guys start kind of going off to, to bed. The foreman comes back and goes, you know, you can stop and uh, take a break for the night until the bells ring again. Or you can work. Either way. I'll take a little break. No big deal. He says, you can sleep in here. Says, you can sleep out in the halls. Doesn't matter where you sleep. If you sleep in here, the creatures of the night may not bother you. Out there, they may bother you. Should probably stay in here. I'll look for a place. Okay. There's plenty of they're, they're old straw mattresses. Um, they're, they're quite weathered, quite used, never been clean, kind of nasty, kind of very uncomfortable to sleep on, but... It's not the floor. I've been in situations like this before. If you've seen any of my movies. <laughs> right at home. <laughs> Hang upside down off the ceiling. <laughs> Haven't y'all seen my movies? Lost Boys? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I didn't know you were in that one. <laughs> so I'll take a... Take like a one hour power nap. Okay. And see where everyone else is at. All right. You uh, take an hour nap, wake up, everybody's dead asleep. Do you want to transition over okay. to these guys now? Yes. So, gentlemen, you wake up in the morning. What would you like to do? So, just for continuity, that night just happened. And so now it's the morning from that day? Yes. Okay. Long rest? Yes. These events are happening simultaneously. <clears throat> I, I think they're happening at the same time. <laughs> Concurrently, even. Yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, 
Let's broaden the vocabulary of our listeners. <laughs> they genuinely appreciate it. Gentlemen, we know that we're going to be heading towards the Boar Man's domain today, but we don't know anything about the domain in particular. Mr. Jokester, do you think you could reach out to the Thieves Guild, see if they have any intel on the Boar Man's domain? Yeah, why not? Um, where would they be at this point? Um, Are they like with us, or do I need to go find one? No, you, you, uh, you'd have to go find them. Um, they probably told you where the local entrance to the Thieves Guild was. Um, I failed to tell you that. Uh, so you do know how to get to them. Okay, well, um, I will make my way to them. Do you, <laughs> do you need company, Mr. Jokester? Nah. All right, let's go, Mr. Burden. Yeah, let's split up the group even more. <laughs> and as I'm walking out the door, I turn around. <laughs> Continue on. Okay. So you go over. Has it been 15 minutes? <laughs> oh, yeah. You saw the smoke. <laughs> the smoke is the signal. A smoke uh, signal. Yeah. A smoke go. signal. <laughs> yeah. Careful. <laughs> like that. So you get down to the Thieves Guild. What would you like to do? Um, well, approach the, uh, the first person. All right. Well, one of the... Kind of looks like a leisure guard. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, we need to know... Whatever you might know about this boar man and uh, and his establishment, any details that you might know would be very useful. Yes, well, we don't deal much with the boar man. Um, if you're planning on going there and doing something foolish, uh, because you'll deal with a lot of mud. A lot of creatures that live in the mud. Sweet. Um, there, there's a lot about his domain that people don't know. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like outsiders. And if he thinks that you're up to no good, or if you're trying to undermine him in any way, he throws you in the mines. He's an asshole, basically. Yes. Okay. Yes, he is. I mean, I gathered that much, but uh, maybe uh, have some way to get there or general direction. This is well. Uh, from here, you'll basically travel. <laughs> We've got the vessels, um, either by air or by ocean. Uh, you'll travel basically southeast. Uh, when you hit the mainland, uh, you'll continue on a southeasterly direction until you find a bunch of hills surrounded by mud. Mm. And then you know you'll be there. And will I be able to rely on any of you guys for some kind of assistance? I believe... There is a group that is tasked going with y'all. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Who? Burden. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Asshole. He goes, is there anything else that you need for assistance? Ooh. No, I think that should be pretty much it. Well, I wish you luck, Jokester. I appreciate that. May we meet again. You're going into the belly of the beast. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good. It's okay. I got a little something for him. I hope you do. <laughs> I got a lot of something for him. <laughs> 
So I'm going to bid him adieu and make my way back. All right. Burden Doctor, while he's down in the Thieves' Guild, what are you guys doing? Mr. Burton, I'm so glad that we sent Mr. Jokester. Me too. I can't wait till he comes back with all the information about what type of creatures are in the mud. Any defenses that the Boarman has. Oh yeah, no, I guarantee you he did his job perfectly and he got us everything we need to be prepared. Precisely. Yeah. Well, let's go do some shopping. Let's do some shopping. <laughs> So where would you guys like to go? So we, this was kind of brought up last time. We have a map of the general domain. Yes. Of, oops, of Mudfront. Yes. Are there, in, would anyone in town have a more specialized map of like his location? We know there's a mine and we know it's like a general hilly area. There, there's, but. there's no specialty maps. Um, people that have tried to map the area have come to a very undesirable outcome. They've been captured and thrown into the mines. <laughs> so there's just that generalized map. That's all that's in recording right now. Okay. I'm sorry, I have to say something. Your mascara's running. <laughs> Thanks. He just misses us. <laughs> well, they really uh, farther over, hard. towards the gator. What? Oh, oh, perfect. Made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is what it is at this point. <laughs> How's my mascara? Oh. It's fantastic. Thank you. How bad is it? <laughs> it's all right. It adds character. Negligible. I'm in the mine. That's coal. Yeah. 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 Fuck it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, continue. I'm going to send a message to Nocturnal okay. while we're heading to, sh to shop. Nocturnal, we are leaving tonight at midnight. Any last information you can give us? You missed a few fingers there, bud. Uh, uh, it was less than 20. Yeah. Nocturnal. Perk up. He wakes me from my one-hour nap. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, nothing new. Same info as last time. Stuck down in a cave. Send. <clears throat> nothing new to report, Mr. Burden. Things are very consistent. I honestly think... I don't know if there's anything else for us to do except for... Wait till we ship out. I believe we have all the supplies we could get. Yeah. We have the explosives. Oh, yeah. Did I ever get the uh, water skins or... No, we haven't. Um, okay, um, yeah. We. What, what was the place called? Which one? The Everything you need. Was that it? <laughs> Linens and things. <laughs> I think that's what you called it. Bloodbath and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say bloodbath and beyond? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought I heard. That's a good one. That's what I thought I heard. Clink. I guess while I'm on my way back to them, I can, go I can make place. a pit stop. Can we just say that we were headed there? Because that would have made sense anyway. Okay. And maybe we can just happen to meet him there. Do a, As you two are going, I want you both to do a perception roll. Twenty-three. Eleven. All right. Nailed it. So you get a little jump when you hear Mr. Steele's voice behind you. Gentlemen, please come here for a second. He's kind of standing off in an alleyway. They haven't seen him in a long time. Mm -hmm. Which form is he in? He is in his dark elf form right now. He says, gentlemen, I, uh, Heard the news about Nocturnal. Yes, we're very broken up about it. Uh, yeah, just pieces. Yeah. Pieces of me. Yeah. <laughs> he says, I've got a few questions for you. 
the valley that you freed. What are your intentions with it? I know you have not reported back to Maldun yet. We were hoping to report back as a unified unit, group. We're hoping to get back together first. Run it. And the valley which you speak of is, is where all the caves were, right? Yes. Where the trolls were. <laughs> Personally, I don't have any intentions. We did acquire the black rock that is nearby, but I believe Mr. Nocturnal had plans, but I could not tell you what those are. Nocturnal have plans with the valley or the black rock? The black with the, rock. With the valley. Oh, I thought it was the black rock. He was gone when we captured the black rock. Oh, that's right. Oh, we had plans for the black rock. Yeah. I knew that. We're going to set up a little homestead, perhaps. Yeah. Nice. But for the mines themselves, no, we have not had a chance to discuss it. Some of us keep getting captured. <laughs> he says, well, I have a proposal for you. I do not know how much you know of Nocturnal's plans. And I do not wish to blindside him. But things have happened. And I need to remove Miss Everglade from the city. So. You'll be broken up about this. Yeah. I think I have a way to make it work. Um, she is just not allowed within the city limits. So I'm thinking the valley. Uh, I have some people interested in moving there that can keep her safe, uh, can mine the, the mines. Um, if we can come up with an agreement, um, I will get this rolling. Uh, currently, you guys are the owners of the valley. You have cleared it out, so it is all intents and purposes is it yours. Um, so for 30% of whatever comes out goes to these miners, and the rest is yours. What say you? If you need time to discuss, I will give you two time to discuss things. Just to clarify for the listeners, that's the mines where the trolls that had the gold, iron, yes. everything. Yes. Copper. It was the Minecraft mines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just recapping. Yes. Do we get to name the mine? You get to do whatever you want. We shall call, call it the Valley of the Shadow of Death. I was thinking of my little pony mines, but... Uh... <clears throat> okay. Mr. Burden, take a look at your life and realize that there's <clears throat> nothing left. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> He's been milking and plowing so... Oh, wrong version. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ezekiel knows that your mind is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous mind. I just got it. Yeah. I got it. Danger. Wow. <laughs> but it's... Mines as in the mind, but not the mind. Uh, Just stop while you're ahead. <laughs> well, stop while well, you're not really ahead. Like, stop before it gets worse. Just stop. How quickly can we get Miss Everglade to the Valley of the Shadow of Death? I will have her there by tomorrow afternoon. Um, she is quite safe. Uh, there's no concern there. Um, I'm not sure where miscommunications came from or somebody just got drunk and blabbered or what happened but I will find out who said Miss Everglade is getting back into business. If you find out who spoke please be sure to let us know. Maybe we can pay them a visit. I will do so. A dangerous visit. This, uh, the second thing I have uh, to offer you um, I can give you a little assistance with uh, the ship that is being built here. 
I've talked with Grom and, and Smudge. Um, may be able to get a haphazard crew together for you, if you wish. Um, is there any special plans you would like for your ship? Can we get it with two captain's quarters? Oh, but of course. Can, can we get it with a built-in brothel? I guess that can be doable. Oh, excellent, yes. God. This guy sows more seed than Monsanto. (laughs) 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 Can we get a buffet and nightly karaoke? I'm not sure what karaoke is, but uh, buffet, yes. Don't worry. We'll teach you all about karaoke. No, that's not true. I already did karaoke with Steel. Mm. <laughs> that is true. That is right. Yes. <laughs> I forget about that. <laughs> it's been a while. Yes. He goes, I'm, I'm sure we can get a band on there for you. Unfortunately, Nocturnal set the bar a little too high. <laughs> <laughs> with his COPD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, do you want it? Do you want your ship outfitted as a, a trading vessel, uh, a vessel of um, terror, so you can attack? Um, what 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 do you want to use this vessel for? I imagine a warship would be appropriate. Obviously, we want to be able to carry some cargo. Yeah. But we also want to deal with threats as well. I, I was thinking of a giant floating brothel dreadnought type thing. Yeah. Do you need to know where the brothel is here in Five Rivers? No, 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 no. I have my sights set on someone already. This could be the one. I wish you luck. Thank you. With whomever it may be. <laughs> so, uh... We wish her luck, too. Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Warship it will be. This is uh, any any other specialties that you want for your ship? What would it normally be outfitted with as a standard issue? Because well, uh, normally they have ballistas, uh, catapults. Um, the artificers here in Five Rivers have a new thing called a cannon. Um, I may try to get some of those and put those on your ship. But uh, don't know much about them. So this is a large vessel then if it can hold a... Yes. Do you, do you not know of this vessel? We spoke to Mr. Noc... I think I'm lying here. We spoke to Mr. Nocturnal briefly, but he didn't give us all the details. Oh. I, I think that's a lie. This well then, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Let me bring you to your vessel. Follow me, gentlemen. You're missing one. Jokester. No, you. we're fine. <laughs> we're good. <Yeah. laughs> Roll a perception check, jokester. Yeah, he'll turn up eventually. <laughs> just come strolling. I just started I might walk walking right a little bit faster. Him. <laughs> just keep your head down, keep your head down. He can't see us. Five. <laughs> keep your head down, just keep walking. Right. The two of you can roll perception, see if you see Jokester. I just walk right past them. Oof. Thirteen? Okay. Eight. So neither of you two see Jokester. Hmm. But old Mr. Steele did. He's Jokester. Jokester, fall in line. Come. Oh, oh. Come. Steel. Steel. He'll hear you. <laughs> Do you not want him? It's okay, Mr. Steele. <sighs> Hi, guys. How you guys live this long, I do not know. Hey, Jokester, we missed you, buddy. Where were you? Just getting some information. Oh, good. You got the information we needed. We'll have to sit down and go over it in meticulous detail later, Mr. <laughs> Jokester. 
What, what Perhaps this evening, as we're planning our assault on the mud front. Oh, okay. All right. Excellent. Good. At your leisure, Mr. Steele. <laughs> All right. So he, he brings you down to to the dock side. <laughs> it's on on the south side of the city, um, and there. On dry dock is this large war vessel. Um, a lot of the boards have been taken off. He says, she's in bad shape right now. But uh, Grom has a good crew working on it. Uh, it will be black when it is done. Uh, Grom is going to call it the sea bat. Um, it's going to have four masts on it. Uh, it'll be very, very quick. Um, so, it's going to be a good vessel for you. Um, we will have to make some modifications for these cannons. Uh, and then... Uh, Those modifications, can you make them spray out some uh, shark repellent spray? Um, I'm sure we can try to do something. Cool. You plan on landing on a buoy, Mr. Jokester? Never know. <laughs> yeah, haven't you seen Sharknado? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I'll make sure you get a closer look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excellent idea. Is this, uh, so, uh, uh, deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Caught it. I'm not let that one slide. <laughs> so, so, this is your vessel. Um, I apologize to Nocturnal if uh, he didn't want you to know about it. Uh, but this is it. This is, uh, it'll be ready about a month's time. Uh, I will try to get that crew together. Uh, the crew is going to be rough. Uh, but I'm sure the four of you will be able to keep them straight, you know? Uh, I'm getting them from different jails and prisons, but they're all seaworthy, all of them. The doctor, would you like this vessel to be a spell jerking vessel? <laughs> Well, that sounds incredible. I'm not quite sure what a spell jamming vessel is. So, they're powered by several different things. They're either magics, or you can feed it gems, or you can feed it people. Um, I wouldn't do the third one because it takes a lot of people to power a vessel. Um, but magics is the easiest one. Uh, you pour your magic into it, and it powers the ship, and it can fly, it can do things that you want it to do. Uh, the reason I ask you is because you're the one with the most magical powers. Yes, you do have powers. Um, I use prestidigitation to make a tiny little flame dance on my fingertip. <laughs> well done, Mr. Burden. Thank you. Yes, <coughs> but... Bless you. What he said. <laughs> Phobos be with you. <laughs> and also with you. <laughs> Jesus. No, Phobos. <laughs> Leaving that alone. <laughs> and also with you, Mr. Burden. Ah, thank you. <laughs> he says, so uh, if you wish, we'll put a spell jamming helm. Um, Is there any way that it could take multiple different things? So like gems and people? Typically they don't do it that way, but I'm sure we can put two helms in there and it'd be suffice. You just never know when you need to threaten someone. Right, Mr. Steele? That is correct. Because um, I'll see what we can do. So, uh, give me two months. Spell jamming helms take a lot. Because, uh, we will have her ready in a couple of months for you. Is Grom in 
Smudge staying back so they can oversee this, or are they going with you? At this moment, we anticipate them going with us. However, I don't think we'll need them. No, I think we have enough. Uh, plus, it would probably be better if they stayed and, you know, sped things along with the ship here. We shall leave them behind. So be it. That is good. Plus, don't want to put them in danger, you know? That's bad. They can both hold their own. True, but the, know, I'd rather not, you know, rather not see them murdered, you know? <laughs> Mr. Nocturnal is quite fond of them. I wish to keep them safe. Uh, they're, they're quite fond of the four of you. Uh, okay. I've heard great things. Shucks. You've taken good care of them. I appreciate that. He goes, uh, I have spoken to, well, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Oh, oh no, please, please. We've well, come this far. Well, friends here, Mr. Steele. Are we, though? Shut it. Yes. I will, I will hold off on that. Maybe I will give no more secrets out. Mr. Burden, can you... <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Steele. Yes. Uh, I say in a very persuasive manner, I say, we're all going to be working together. There should be no secrets between friends and colleagues and allies. Perception roll. Gonna, or a persuasion roll. I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder as he's talking and cast guidance. Okay. Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-four. <laughs> He's good. Wow. <laughs> he says, yes, we are amongst friends, but some stories are for others to tell. Mm, very well, then. We respect your privacy. So, gentlemen, I will let you go along your way so you can... Hopefully, free nocturnal. I will uh, take care of Miss Everglade, and uh, I will get back out in touch with you as soon as I can. There is one thing I would like to add to the ship, if possible. Yes. We can forget the second captain's quarters. That was that was an offhanded joke, and I apologize. But what we could really use is a war room, where we can have that, battle maps. and. That's already in the work. Oh. I appreciate it. Grom already figured that one out for you. He says, uh, and to tell you the truth, Grom already has two captain's quarters. Oh. And two first mate quarters. Grom is a, a smart little goblin. Um, I also believe he is trying to work the courage up to uh, talk to you personally about something. Uh, so you may want to talk to him later. Well, there's nothing to fear. No, no. Nothing to fear. Just doesn't know how to go about things. <coughs> so. <coughs> yes, Mr. Jokester? <coughs> Let me <coughs> clear my throat. <coughs> uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, then. <laughs> So with that, Mr. Steele bids you a good day, and he takes off. What would you guys like to do? Mr. Jokester, did you acquire those water skins, or would you like us to go with you? I believe we still need to go and get those. Is there anything else that I said in the last episode I needed? No, that there's literally nothing else. I think that was it. And while we're there, we can also look around and see what else the Keeper has. Absolutely. All right, so let's go do that. To right. Bloodbath and Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to change the name of the place to that now. <laughs> so you guys head off to the store. Nocturnal, what would you like to do? You've done your short rest. Everyone asleep? Everyone's asleep. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the demon said he could teleport me to the mm -hmm. poor man? He can. Gonna grab my rope, grab my stuff. I'm gonna go see Mr. Demon. Okay. You get down to the, the tower. The uh, door opens up automatically. And he says, come in, Nocturnal. Come in. Let's 
go. You enter in, door closes. He goes, I did not expect you so soon. You are different than the other nocturnals. I'm a go getter. <laughs> He says, you are wishing to go now? I am. Are you ready? It's now or never. He starts moving his hands, and you disappear. And you reappear in the chambers of the Borman, who is currently sleeping. Stealth it up. Okay. Advantage because my training. Mm Mm-hmm. That, and it's dark in here. 21. All right. So you slide off into the shadows, moving quietly. What would you like to do? He's sleeping in this large bed. A couple of women sleeping with him. Ooh. That changes things. Fuck up one of y'all's scenes. <laughs> edit that out. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to lift that uh, necklace off of him. Okay. I was gonna do the poison if he was alone. Actually, oh, if he wakes up choking on it, it's gonna wake up everyone, right? You I know how, how you, this poison's gonna react. I know how you think. <laughs> Gotta anticipate all outcomes. I can't risk it. Gonna try to slip it off. Get his necklace. Okay. How are you doing this? Slide a hand. Sneak up. How how are you? So, you get this large king-size bed. He's in the middle of it. And there's a woman on each side. So, how are you approaching the bed? And how are you positioning yourself to get to the necklace? Is the head of the bed against the wall... <clears throat> it's the head of the bed against the wall. It is. You're screwed. I'm gonna have to try to reach over one of the girls. Okay. Do a sleight of hand at disadvantage. Mm. Let's try it. Ooh. 17. The other one was a nat 20. Nice. Okay. So. You reach over. Slide it off his neck. And it is in your hands. And no one is awake. Excellent. Sneak on out of there. All right. So you get to the, the door or the window. Let's do window. Okay. So you get over to the window, and it is locked. I do not have a lock pick. That's one per campaign. (laughs) (laughs) You can fit a lot of stuff in there, but just one lock pick. Uh, Let's try the door. Go over to check the door. It, check it for traps or any alarms. Okay, check it. Nat 20. <laughs> it is neither trapped nor alarmed. <laughs> see if it opens. Okay. Opens right up. Take a peek out, see if anything's okay. nearby. All right, perception check. I moved it before I saw it. <laughs> Reroll it then. Let's use the orange one. 19. All right. So you see two guards out there. Um, they're both in chain mail. Uh, they both have a heavy spear, uh, shield, and they're quite alert. They can't see me because I'm stealth, right? Once you step out there, I'll make a roll. See if they do see you. You know what? I'm gonna smash that damn gym right now. 
<laughs> okay. This is gonna be good. <laughs> how, how are you gonna try to break? I'm gonna take my stone dagger, smash it. Okay. Do I need like do an attack? Do roll? strength. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. So you take your dagger and just blade first going into it. This is going to do the hilt. The hilt? Okay. So you... Bam! Makes a lot of racket. Doesn't do a thing to it. Son of a bitch. Good job. <laughs> Borman does not stir, though. <laughs> <laughs> two, go- two guards are coming your way, though. They heard the noise. Mm-hmm. He must be tired from something. I'm gonna dash out as fast as I can. Okay. Trying to get past them. Yep. Okay. I do. I need to stealth first. Can't stealth while you're dashing. Beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're doing a, a, a full bore run. Let me do an acrobatics check to like run alongside the wall, jump over him. Sure, go ahead. Let's do that. It's not great. 11. All right, so you start running up the wall and you kind of slip and you fall back down right in front of the other guard. He's like, <laughs> Initiative roll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, good God. Eight. Eight. All right. Nine. Nine. They both go first. Of course. No, I was wrong. It's eight. So the first one comes up, and the spear just kind of misses your head and sticks into the wall. The second one gets a critical hit <laughs> into your back. Oh. Of course. be 18 points of damage as the spear tip goes through your back and out from the front of your chest and he's like <laughs> I screwed me your bat oh you bastard you're gonna pay for that but not today <laughs> mobility book it all right so you pull yourself off the the spear taking an additional five damage <laughs> And you book it down the hall. Like hall, dash. The hall ends in a staircase, a spiral staircase, going down. Start making my way down. All right. You get down about 30 feet. Um, you do hear pursuit. They are chasing you. Uh, they are also uh, yelling an alarm uh, that you have escaped. And down below... Uh, there's a landing and a door and the stairs continue going down. Let's go to the landing and the door. Okay, so you get to the door. Check it. Open. Alright, opens wide. Uh, behind this door is a long hallway. Uh, there's several doors on both sides of this hallway and there's a door at the far end. Let's go to the far end. As you're booking down, roll a perception check for me. Nat 20. Nat 20. Mm. All right. You hear the scrambling of what you assume are guards behind all these doors that you're running by. You get to the, the far end, the doors start opening up, and the guards start pouring out. Let's keep booking it through the one door. All right. You open up. Go charging through. I need you to do a perception check for me as you run into this room. Eight. Eight. Oh. All right. So there's a bunch of cages, bars, um, lines both sides of this room. Um, there appears to be no exit on the far side. 
Um, you get about 10 feet in the room when you realize that there's no exit. Um, this is when you realize inside these cages are dogs. A lot of dogs. Aww. Some puppers. And they're all just kind of like watching you. What would you like to do? Try to do animal handling. Let's see if I can pet them. <laughs> okay. I want to see if they're aggressive. Roll a, roll a d20 for me. <laughs> do your, your animal handling. Six. <laughs> no, they're not friendly at all. <laughs> They start barking and growling and try to bite your hand off. <laughs> check the back wall. See if there's any way out. Okay. Do a perception check. Christ. This is the dice you gave me. <laughs> Starting to think something's on. <laughs> Seven. <coughs> so you get to the back wall. There's appears to be no secret passages. Um... You do hear guards coming in to the door from behind you. Uh, you do hear a couple of iron gates open up, and somebody's calling to their dogs. He's the, so nocturnal. Time out. I'm going to run into a corner. Okay. You're going to love this. Okay. I'm going to shove that trinket right up my asshole. <laughs> Including the chain. You better spit on it first. <laughs> For easy retrieval later. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> I'm not joking. Roll, roll, roll a d20 for me. Slide of hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I spit on it, do I get advantage? You know what? Why not? I will let you have it. You're, you're a sick man, you know that? <laughs> Who's doing the action? <laughs> 19. All right. So you, you, you pop it right up in there. Return of the devil's lube. <laughs> it's cavernous in there. Went in quite easily, huh, Mr. Nocturnal? <laughs> I come out, hands up. Guys, so sorry I was sleepwalking again. You can ask the foreman. I warned him about this. Do a deception check. <laughs> As the chain jingles you... between your legs. It looks like he has a nope. tail. Nope, chain's up there too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a five. <laughs> Doesn't believe you at all. <laughs> He says, so why don't you drop that rope? He says, why don't you, uh, that funny looking knife you got, drop that on the ground. He says, why don't you come with us peacefully? Fine, goddammit. Oh, you could take them. You could ask the, ask the foreman. I warned him about this. They come up. They put you in manacles. Borman comes over. He says, ah, ha, ha. He says, How'd you get out of the hole? You can't fly with them things. Great climber. Ah, uh, <laughs> told you one would climb out eventually. <laughs> Didn't you see the movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of my thing. <laughs> it is awesome. Awesome. It is awesome. Awesome. No. But no one remembers the chant. <laughs> no. Every time he does a clip. Fuck you all. <laughs> You're ruining my moment. <laughs> Anne Hathaway. I remember Anne Hathaway. So, the poor man says, throw him back into the mines. I'll deal with him in the morning. Fine. Hey. I'll go peacefully. <laughs> Guard says, oh, that's too bad. Can you patch up this damn hole in me? Not be able to dig for shit if I'm bleeding all over everywhere. Borman kind of looks and says, No, you can bleed. 
Can I take this up with human resources tomorrow morning? <laughs> sure. <laughs> See you there, buddy. <laughs> they take you back to the pits and unmanacle you and push you in. Glide down again. Okay. <sighs> home sweet home. <laughs> Is anybody else awake? Notice anything? Nope. As far as you know, they're still asleep. You don't see anybody around. Make my way back to the demon. Okay. I know I wasn't there, but I have an important question. Yes. How large was that gem? Well, <laughs> <laughs> important. <laughs> so Wait. it was like a plug of something. So sort. like. <laughs> so it hurt more than likely. Like a four-inch diameter, yeah. give or take. It's yeah. a bat plug now. <laughs> It's a bat plug. <laughs> it's a bat plug. <laughs> so you go see the demon. The door opens. And he says, come in. You, you are a special one. Yeah. Avert your eyes. <laughs> while I go digging. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's face it. He spreads legs and it just drops right out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what you're implying. <laughs> Can I get it out? Or do I have to do another sleight of hand? Do a strength check. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's kind of wedged in there. <laughs> Can I ask the demon for assistance? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's well built. Let's get that, let's get that sucker sure. out. Sure. <laughs> give you a can have advantage on it. Producer E's turning red over there. Is that little Nas X you're talking to? Oh. Oh my god. Why? I'm doing this so I'll remember. Hey, demon guy. You got a name? I don't know if I want to give it to you. Look, you want this. We're going to have to work together. We're about to have an intimate moment. I'd like to know your name. <laughs> Never been important before. Beelzebub, let's go. <laughs> you can call me Garage. Garage? Yes. Gotcha. Bend over. Garage, a little help. <laughs> Let's make it happen. <laughs> oh my do, I, do I still need to roll? No, you don't need to roll. You might uh, need to roll a constitution save. How much damage pass. do I take? <laughs> you have to bite down on something. But... <laughs> they took my stone dagger. I got nothing to bite on. <laughs> it gives you a stick to bite on. <laughs> Put the wooden Blink. one off. <laughs> So he pulls, pulls the diamond out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> kind of sits but down okay. on, the, on the floor. He goes, you must destroy it. I cannot. How the fuck do you destroy it? I already tried. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he already destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> so far, all I did was lube it up. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly defiled it. <laughs> <laughs> he says, you must find a way. I cannot do it. God damn it. Give me a hint. Anything magical could probably destroy it. It's a good thing I'm loaded up with all this magic. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna go on a magical... Easter egg hunt here, then. He goes, as you leave, he goes, talk to the foreman. Can I leave this here with you in the meantime? You may. I can't risk getting caught with it. Or you could just hide it again. Foreman's <laughs> gonna be up my ass tomorrow. <laughs> can't risk it. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically. 
Full deception check. <laughs> that was an automatic failure there. <laughs> just be quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> go to the foreman. All right. So you go to the foreman. He's sleeping and just snoozing away. I'll slap him across his face a little bit. Foreman. Uh, 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 Not general. What? What do you want? I'm out of ale. Do we have any more? No, it's all gone until tonight. God damn it. This place sucks. Get used to it. Hello, extraordinary comrades. Nocturnal here. Founder of Truth and Fairness Coalition. Just a reminder, if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing and find us across all the social media platforms and exclusive content on Patreon. Now... Back to our program. I need a magical item. What do you got? Why do you need a magical item? I'm digging for emeralds. And I found a big one. A little bit of magic would help. Anything to help me dig a little further. Use my pick. It's magical. Really? Yes. You had this damn thing this whole time? Yes. Been sitting here slaving away with these dumb shitty little rusty one. You're not the foreman. Fine. But I want overtime, extra ale. Well, depends on how big the emerald is. Motherfucker, I got it. No, I'm one. sleeping. All right, I'll take it. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so you take his pickaxe. <laughs> sleep well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going back at it. I can't sleep. <laughs> Rough night. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let me sleep. And I limp out of his office <laughs> like I've been riding horses. <laughs> so you waddle on back down to the tower. <laughs> and the, the, the demon says, do it outside the tower. Roger that. Grab the trinket. Okay. Take it out. Okay. Let's smash that bastard. As long as you don't fumble, you hit it. Always have a chance to fumble. Can I stealth it up to get a sneak attack on it? Sure. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, I mean, it's an inanimate object, so it doesn't know you're there anyway, so you'll have advantage if you want. I'll take it. Kind of like steady aim? They'll do with a finesse weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Two net ones. <laughs> Got a. Is it a strength weapon? Yes. It's a dirty 20. All right. So you hit that thing, and it explodes. Nice. Nailed it. You take 11 points of damage. And I am almost dead. The, the diamond has been destroyed. The tower starts collapsing. The demon bursts through the door. He says, I am free. <laughs> This nocturnal. I promised you power. Power is what you'll get. All the power. And he puts his hand on your forehead, which kind of envol envelopes your entire head. And he says, enjoy. And he pushes you back, and you disappear from the mines. Gentlemen. So. That's where you're leaving me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Foreman, kiss my ass. <laughs> so, you guys go to Bloodbath and Beyond. <laughs> Told you I had to change the name. <laughs> Wish we could do a t-shirt, but that might be a meme already. <laughs> go in there. Easy to find your, your water flasks. Cool. Um, I'm going to get... Swifty. About, you know, I'll just get like five of them. Okay. So how much for each one of those? Mm, you do a um, total of three gold pieces. We'll cover it. Cool. All right. Might you find gentlemen need anything? Do you happen to have any healing potions? 
Or any potions, for that matter. He goes, uh, no, not, not in this store. He goes, uh, you'd have to go down to the apothecaries. They, uh, they got some potions down there. Noted. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, the one that I would suggest you go to is, uh, the dancing ladies. Don. Mm-hmm. They're, the, they're the best potions. The dancing ladies. Yes. Yes, that's, that's their apothecary store. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't worry, I'll remember it. Very well, Mr. Burden. I'm going to just look around. Anything in this place look interesting? Um, it, it's a... A store, you know, a general store. You know, it's got trinkets and you know, uh, your ropes, your your water skins. You know, typical adventuring stuff. Nothing spectacular. Nothing magical. It's no curiosities. Nah. Like that. Okay. Nope. Did you find everything you needed, Mister Jokester? Uh, mm, I sure did. <laughs> Nailed it. That was a journey. All right, to the dancing ladies. <laughs> to the dancing ladies. All right. So you guys go out, travel up the, the road a bit, and you find the dancing ladies. Uh, the, the sign has several dancing women on it. It says dancing ladies, apoth- uh, apothecary. And... Uh, the, the, the storefront has big windows, a uh, bunch of vials sitting in the windows of various colors and shapes. Are the windows tinted at all? Uh, no. They're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> From the outside, we just hear. <laughs> Upon entering into the dancing ladies, there are three women in there working. Uh, one's behind the counter. Uh, we need to clarify. Producer, you know it's not a brothel. It's a <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it was ambiguous. <laughs> it's a potion shop. <laughs> <laughs> the other one seems to be putting inventory onto the shelves. Uh, and the third one is approaching the three of you. Uh, the lady that approaches you is a blonde-headed woman. Um, kind of looks elvish. Um. Mr. Burden, please. <laughs> Force of habit. It's like muscle memory at this point. <laughs> Do you know a good tailor? Because his clothes keep coming undone. Yes, I can send you to a good tailor. We shall go there next. Get my chastity belt. <laughs> How can I help the three of you? That's your thing. Good madam, do you have any potions? Oh, yes, we have lots of potions. What are you looking for? Well, we're looking for healing potions, but if there's anything that you would recommend. Yeah. Adventurous, I take it? Yep. Yes. Choose, uh, well, healing potions are always a good thing to have. Uh, what strength are you looking for? Maximum. Well. (laughs) (laughs) She goes, I do have three superior healing potions. They are quite expensive, though. Those are pricey. How much are they good, madam? Uh, 2,000 gold each. That's it? What about, do you have any greater healing potions? I do. I have five currently. And how much are those? Uh, the greater healings run um, 150 gold each. All right. I will take all five. It's okay. 750, correct? Yes. He's breaking things. Good job. Producer, quit hitting shit. You're tiny. What do you need? <laughs> Jesus. Well, gentlemen, if you need potions, I would recommend purchasing some. Uh, excuse me, madam. Uh, do you have any potions that could uh, help inspire the passions of a beautiful woman that I happen to have my eyes on? You are looking for a love potion. Yes. Number nine. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, 
We do have love potions. Excellent. Um, how many are you looking to have? The cult. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. Um. Oh no. How, how, uh, how many do you have? I have four. And how much are they? They're two hundred gold each. I'll take all four. Okay. How about you? Do you need any potions? Well, he bought all the healing potions. Oh no, we still have healing potions, just no more greater. Mm. Yeah, they're going for the low price of 200 gold apiece. Uh, got like 448 gold left. <laughs> well, I've got some regular healing potions that go for 50 gold each. Oh, why not? How many do you have? I have 10 of those currently. I can't math. Was that 500? Yes. Hey, you can I math. don't have 500, so I'll just do five of those. Okay. Anything else, gentlemen? We're going to be traveling in an airship, <clears throat> and it might become necessary to... To put it bluntly, maybe jump from the airship if worse comes to worse. So you're like feather falling? If there was something that could assist us with that. Yes. Uh, I can either give you uh, a potion of gaseous form or a potion of feather falling. How many of those do you have and how much are they? I currently have two of the feather falling. Um, it is 300 each. I would like to take one of them. Okay. I thought you were going to ask for Dramamine. <laughs> this one might need some Dramamine. <laughs> I bought one of them. If someone's interested in the other potion of Feather Falling. <coughs> uh, how much were they? 300? Oh, yeah, I'm screwed there. Well, in that case, I guess I'll take it. Okay. Jokesters always land on their feet. <laughs> yeah. It'll they bounce fine. like tiggers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wonderful thing about jokesters. <laughs> That's the wonderful thing. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> Madam, while we're here, do you have any curiosities? Anything interesting or unique? Hmm. We do have some unique potions. How unique are you looking? And are you looking for something for you or something to use against someone else? That is an excellent question. I guess it would depend on what they are. Well, we have a couple of polymorph potions. Uh, we have a couple of paralyzing potions. Uh, we do... Kind of looks around. We do have poisons in the back. For like weapon dipping or it's an actual potion? Both. So we have weapon dips. We have ingestion. We have contact. We deal with a lot of different potions and poisons. So if Mr. Jokester here were to shoot an arrow after dipping it, that would work? Yes, it would. How much is it for a potion of poison? How strong do you want it? Do you want an insta-kill? Maximum. <laughs> the insta-kills, <laughs> that runs you 5,000 per, per vial. And it will coat about three arrows. And that'll insta-kill, like, anything? Most of the time, yes. I've seen a couple of people withstand it, but not too often. Hmm. Well, it's obviously off the table. 
What about your weaker potions? Or poisons? She goes, I have some that go for 50 gold a vial. Um, it does lesser damage. Um, it's not going to kill things, but it'll, it'll cause additional damage. Mr. Jokester, would you like a vial of poison? Absolutely. Is there 50? Yes, 50. I shall purchase two vials of poison for you, Mr. Jokester. How gracious. And if you do arrows, those ones will cover about five arrows each. Make them count. Sweet. So. And it'll do an additional 1d8 for poison damage. Is there anything else I can help you gentlemen with? Uh, yes, madam. Just for clarification, um, <clears throat> do I take the potion or do I give it to my beloved? We've got to let them drink it. Excellent. Excellent. Good. As long as it's not topical, Mr. Burden. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. It's the ultimate love potion. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Set an additional D8 for those? Yes. Thought we were going highbrow this episode. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> highbrow is not in our wheelhouse. <clears throat> Madam, is there a curiosity shop around here? For maybe magical items or just unique items? There, there is a couple of magical shops. Um, if you're looking for items... Uh, You'll go see Joshua. He's down by the river, uh, and he is in the tradesman. It's actually a ship, but it's his store. Joshua in the tradesman. Yes. Now, if you're looking for weapons, um, then you'll go see the gruffy old dwarf. Uh, they call him Redbeard for reasons. Um, but he has a shop uh, about two blocks up from here. Uh, it's called Grumpy Dwarf because he is very grumpy. Doesn't like BS at all. So don't have any wardrobe malfunctions when you're going to his shop. Oh no, I'm, I'm good. I'm not, a, I'm not a dwarf type of person. Or he'll rock your body, Mr. Burden. <laughs> Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. <clears throat> Moving on. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were gonna escape that one. Yeah, I thought so too. <sighs> Thank God I have this. <laughs> Good madam, what is your name? I'm Evelyn. Evelyn. Yes. You've been most helpful. Thank you. It has been my pleasure to assist you, gentlemen. Thank you. And the tailor is right across the road. Yes, we're heading there next. Thank you. Hopefully he can get his armor fixed. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> That was good timing, though. Yeah, I mean, it was. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head to the tradesman. Yep. Okay. So you go down to the, the waterfront. Uh, sitting there is a, a large, very colorful boat. Um, got all sorts of colors, from yellows to purples to blues. Uh, it has flags flying all over it. Um, and there's a a taller gentleman on on the, the deck of it. Um, dark skinned guy, uh, long hair down to his waist, uh, dressed in silk clothes. Um, currently, he's in red. And he's like, ah, gentlemen, are you coming aboard? Are you looking for something? Permission to come aboard. Yes, yes. Permission granted. I am Joshua. What can I help you with? Yes, we were looking for some curiosities, and we were told this was the place to come to. Absolutely. Is there any particular things you're looking for? 
I'm just going to kind of look around at his stock just to see if I notice anything that looks interesting. Uh, you see some ropes. Um, you see... You see uh, a grappling hook. You see a couple of um, rings. And you see a necklace. I'm going to go over to the necklace. Okay. May I just... You can pick it up and handle, just don't put it on. Absolutely. I'm just going to look at it. Okay. You pick it up. Um, It has no weight to it whatsoever. Um, It kind of looks like uh, um, a necklace of uh, magic missiles. Uh, It's got little trinkets. Um, Looks like little missiles that you would throw. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just cast um, Detect Magic. Okay. Because I just kind of want to get a feel for the room. Okay. Um, The room is very well protected. um, But you do see um, on, let's see, on the, on most of it, it's enchanting, enchantment spells. Um, There is one that has necromancy on it. One of the rings. Okay. So I'm, I'm holding the necklace. Mr. Jokester, have you seen one of these before? Can't say I have. You know, in my world, it looks very similar to a necklace worn by a tribe known as the Sukandis. Who? <laughs> Sukandis nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I set the necklace back down. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. Fuck you both. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the I'm gonna ask him about the necromancy ring. <laughs> he says yes, he's that's a ring of animate dead. Says, it's a it's a powerful little trinket. Um, it was, most people don't like it because, you know, people don't want dead rhyming around with them. It stinks after a while. It was, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's about, uh, 550 gold. Well, it's a lovely ring. Thank you. But I actually have the ability to. Ah. I, I have tasted the arts of necromancy. Nice. What do you guys, um, you don't want to pry too much, where, where are you thinking of venturing? Maybe I can assist you on trinkets that may assist. Uh, we're going to Mudflaps. Mudflaps? <clears throat> I do not know where Mudflaps is. You'll have to excuse my non learned friend, he means Mudfront. Mudfront. He was yes. Mudfront. He was That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Depends on the positioning. <laughs> Y'all are terrible people. <laughs> Honestly, I just came here for the Sukandis joke. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this. So. I'm, a, I'm ashamed to be associated with you. <laughs> oh, you keep saying that. He says, the only thing I have that may assist you in that place is a ring of free movement. Was, uh, you can travel through the mud uh, without any interference. And how much would that cost us? Uh, that's about 750 gold. As much as I hate to say this, Mr. Jokester, it would probably be most useful for you. With your... What, what does that exactly mean? Move through, the, just walking through the mud? And so, like yes. Without... So if you're in water, mud, mm. uh, anything like that, uh, your movement is not restricted. You are the fastest of us three. It might be useful to you. Fair enough. Yeah. 
I can concur with that. Are you able to purchase it, Mr. Joker? Uh, no. <laughs> How much do you have, Mr. Burden? And I'm going to do an insight check. <laughs> How much for that, sir? 750 gold. How much for the Sukhandi's necklace? <laughs> That's 500 gold. It's 1250 together. Tell you what, I'll buy them both for 11. You know what? I will sell both for 11. You have yourself a deal, sir. Okay. Uh, it's a quick question. I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, how much do uh, the Platinums... Uh, like how much gold per platinum would that be? Uh, platinum. It's ten. Fifth, yeah, fifth edition. It's ten. Okay, ten. Okay, well then I guess I had seven hundred. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I hate you. Too late. You already bought it for him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Gift of love. Shut up and take your ring. Gentlemen, I imagine we'll be able to fill our pockets to the brim once we've recovered Mr. Nocturnal. The Ring of Power. <laughs> God, that show sucks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how exactly does this necklace work, anyways? Yes. So, you'll take one of those little trinkets off and throw it. Oh. And whatever target you're throwing it at, it uh, does some damage. Oh, that's wonderful. But uh, once it's used up, it's used up. Oh, yeah. How many are there? Ah, uh, there's 12. And every single time he takes one off and throws it, he has to say, Sukandi. <laughs> <laughs> that was my plan. That's just part of the magic. <laughs> there is a verbal component, Mr. No Mr. Oh. Burden. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got this. I'm a very verbal man. A cunning linguist, as it were. <laughs> Thank you. Sick bastard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank you, my good sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Joshua, you have been most helpful today. Ah, my pleasure. Come back anytime. So where would you guys like to go now? That's probably all the shopping you need to do, right? Pretty much. Pretty sure, uh, yeah. Gentlemen, I suggest we just rest maybe at the tavern. He, uh, the dueling dragons or mm -hmm. until close to midnight and then we head down to the ship shouldn't we just go to the airship now and wait so that way we don't run into anything that could <laughs> potentially make us miss the uh, the launching get left behind I know what he's thinking but I'm not there. Fine, Mr. Burden. It would give us an opportunity to make sure that all our supplies have been delivered. That's the ticket. Uh, what? Nothing. Say it. Let's do all the things that you want to do. Good. Now you're on board. Mm -hmm. right. Now I'm glad I bought that for you. All right, we'll head to the ship. All right, so you guys head up to the sky docks. What time would you say it is by now? Uh, by the time we get done shopping, it's probably two in the afternoon. Okay. You guys get up to the cloud. Captain wishes you on board. She goes, gentlemen, these are your, your bunks. Enjoy. Uh, you guys are sharing a room. Uh, there's three hammocks tied up in there. Uh, there's... <laughs> crap. That was a great look, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> For the audio-only audience, uh, it was a really good look. <laughs> there is a, uh, a chest for each of you if you wish to store anything uh, in uh, your cargo that you want to deliver here has been delivered. Just so you know. It is down in the lower decks. We bought some fine ale. You are welcome to help yourself, Captain. Thank you. I'll probably have some with my dinner meal. 
So, gentlemen, you may peruse the ship as you will. Um, just don't get in the way of the crew, and we'll be leaving sharply at midnight. That's, I'm going to go messing around with the ale real quick. Okay. It's whatever kinds we have, I'm just going to mix it all together. All right, so we'll you're mixing create up. some uh, Jokester's Jolly Juice. <laughs> All right, so you make some jokes with Jolly Juice. <laughs> Anything that you guys want to do before midnight approaches? I'm going to start prepping the uh, 20 mini kegs of alcohol with 20 of the fuses that I bought at the shop. I'll just start prepping that. Do you need some help, Mr. Burden? Maybe I can assist you. Oh, no, that's all right, Doctor. I appreciate it. But just do me a favor and remember that I bought 21 fuses. Oh, I remember, Mr. Burden. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to fill my water skins with uh, straight alcohol. Okay. I've got three of those. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Captain, may I have a word privately? Yes, you may, Doctor. Come. To my chambers. She brings you into the captain's chambers, shuts the door behind you. She says, Please have a seat. And she sits behind her big oak desk and she kind of sits back. How can I help you? To be quite honest with you, Captain, <clears throat> we have never done anything like this in this world. I know we're in a lot of danger. What do you think our odds are? Truthfully, I don't think any of you will make it out alive. Hopefully, I would like to see you make it out alive. I hate the Borman. Um, if, if you have the abilities to get in without being seen, you may have a chance. Um, it is difficult to assault the Borman's domain. Uh, he has uh, flying vessels. He has vessels that can travel upon the mud. Uh, he has many creatures within the mud. Um, there's one way in for traders. They trade on his first hilltop, and nobody is allowed past that. Um, if he sees something that he wants, he takes it. That's why I do not do trade with him anymore. Um, I wish I had a nugget of hope for you to give you, but I, I have none. I am confident in the majority of our group. I'm going to plot the map pull it and open it up. Okay. We received some information that we might want to land near this mine. I'm going to point to the mine that we were told about. She studies it for a while. She goes, Unless you have a better suggestion, Captain. If it still exists, I can get you, I can get you as close as possible. Um, it'll probably be a day's journey for you to get there, but I will get you that close. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much, Captain. <clears throat> you are welcome. That didn't sound, uh, that didn't sound too promising. Uh, perhaps. You know you're not in the room with them, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he Let said, him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> he, said, he said privately. Oh, On the outside the door, you hear... <laughs> <laughs> I was writing shit down. Jokester, please give us a moment. I'm going to close the door. <laughs> <laughs> there is one last thing, Captain. Yes. I am skilled in the healing arts if you are in need of my services, ah. if you take my meaning. Yes. And you may need my services. Mm. I bid you good evening, Captain. Warning me of something. It's always good to be observant. Duly noted. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I like 
where his head's at. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm just going to head to the, the room, our bunk, and okay. I'm going to just start meditating, preparing my spells. All right. You do your fuses. You get your water skins filled up. Nocturnal. Back to you. <laughs> Back to you our sure regularly you scheduled that? program. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got just enough time to get you enticed, and then we'll be ending. <laughs> hey, let's leave the audience on a cliffhanger. Absolutely. Make sure they watch the next one. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, guys. <laughs> So, do a perception roll for me. It's a nat one. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, that, that's about right. Bro. All right. So, <laughs> what happened to all this newfound power? <laughs> you awaken in this grove of dark oak trees um there's no sounds of insects um no signs of any other life um but you do hear a little bit of humming nearby <laughs> interesting i want to follow the sounds okay as you're walking through this dark treed forest you come upon an opening that's very familiar to you and you see the dark druid kind of working away at his little outside workbench black and oak <laughs> i know this voice i was asking the gm oh, but yes. that's fine too yes it is <laughs> <laughs> it works. Black and Oaks, is that you? I know this voice. Nocturnal. Turns around. What brings you to my doorstep again? I've been through hell, buddy. Ah, come. Let's drink some ale. And you can tell me all about it. Got me to get that good shit from last time. Oh, I've got some better stuff if you want it. I'm going to need it. Okay. <laughs> he brings you inside, sits you down, and brings a big old mug. He says, so, what brings you to me? Tell you the truth, I was just teleported here. Mm. Not sure you want the details. Who teleported you? Not sure you want to know. Takes a big old swig, sits it down, goes, Was it a demon of some sort? Of any sort? Yes. Oh, do tell. I'm up shit creek, and you're my only paddle. So... <laughs> It gets worse the more you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Silence. <laughs> Coming to the darkness. I made a deal that he could send me to a place where I could attain great power. And I set him free. You set a demon free? Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Yes. Are you sacrificing anything? Not exactly. Just myself. Oh, that's a big sacrifice there. And what's left of my humanity. This is... Enjoy your ale. We will get started afterwards. I'm glad you see this wasn't just a social call. No, no. The great power that you bestowed upon my companion? Yes. He rejected it. I felt the rejection. He was cured. Not quite sure how. I don't know anything about that. I got separated. Uh -huh. All I know is that he went to the cave... 
and he did not want to embrace it. Interesting. Huh. I'll have to investigate this further. But I'm here, and I'm willing. Yes, I like it. So yours will be different than what his was. I will not curse you. I will give you something better. Because you're wanting it. I knew I liked you. Little bastard. Just... Let's chug this. <laughs> and let's get down to business. Okay. He slams his back. Fills up yours. Fills up his. I'll do it again. Why not? <laughs> He says, so... I'm pantomiming for the audience, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> the things I do for y'all. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even like beer. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. Non-sponsored beverage. <laughs> yes. Non-sponsored beverage. It's time to serve up some nocturnal justice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> he says... So I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to hurt. He says, when you awaken from this process, because I'm sure you'll pass out. He says, and when you awaken, he says, you will probably be a different person altogether. I'll take it. Says, I'm not in a pass out. I've been rolling that 20s all day. <laughs> <laughs> What was your last perception? Shh. <laughs> Shh. So, You're not there. <laughs> so. Black and Oak. Yes. One last request. Yes. Take these goddamn wings off of me. This is an abomination. I want them gone. I can do this. I appreciate it. Let's get the pain over with. Okay. And then I can dish it out. He goes, do you want to be awake for the removal of those membranes? Let's do it. Okay. Insane. Takes oh, out his babies are. black dagger, lifts up your arm. He says, the pain begins. <laughs> Do a constitution roll for me. Did I have something to bite on? <laughs> nope, you didn't have ah. anything to bite on. <laughs> You're just screaming out in pain. <laughs> Sounds about right. Nat one on the con check. Nat one. Oh, 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 oh. So, Nat 20s all day. <laughs> you get about halfway through when you pass out. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Excruciating pain. <laughs> Part for the course. <laughs> so, uh, you're not sure how long in, in this will be where a time gap will happen for you guys and him mm. um, you're not sure how long you were passed out uh, but you do awaken with a nat one I'm, I'm assuming it was maximum <laughs> <laughs> that's the key word tonight <laughs> maximum <laughs> um, effort you, you do smell the aroma of something cooking um, you can hear uh Roll a perception check to see how well you hear the talking. Ten. That's good enough. So you hear uh, Black and Oak. He says, yes, he took the power very well. I think it will... I think it will do very well for all of us. Uh, he is... The embodiment of darkness now. And then you hear a gravelly voice, an uh, unworldly voice, say, Good, release him into the world and let him cause chaos. I want to see what he does. I am one with the darkness after all. <laughs> and Black and Oak says, Will do, Master. And he comes wandering past you and kind of looks down. He goes, ah, you're awake. Yeah. Who are you talking to? My master. Ah, huh. I was expecting a lie, but I guess we're buds now. Well, close enough to buds. He says, I'll take it. 
Why don't you sit at the table? I'll get you a meal and some ale. You'll need to strengthen yourself up. You've been through a lot. I need a painkiller. This is excruciating. Just the pain will subside. We need to embrace it for now. Roger that. Yes. Good, good. Yes, please, sit at the table. He gets a big old bowl of stew, a big old bra, a big old uh, foaming mug of ale, sits down in front of him and goes, please, please. Gonna please. chug the entire bottle of ale. Okay. She says, ha, 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 yes. Well, constitution safe, because he gave you some strong stuff. <laughs> hey, 18. Oh, yeah, you take it like a champ. Or was that earlier? <laughs> <laughs> so he refills your mug. He says, so, nocturnal. He goes, uh, you are now one with the shadows. You said this before that you were one. But now you are truly one with the shadows. He goes, you are now a very evil man. Now? You will find out that nobody else matters but you. I hope you are prepared. What's left of my humanity is dwindling. I just want my revenge. Oh, I think you'll have it now. On everyone. I hope you enjoy it. I've got a feeling I will. <laughs> I do too. So, finish your meal, and then I will let you go into the world to get your revenge. Sounds like a plan. So, with that, gentlemen, midnight comes. You guys are going towards the Borman. It will take you approximately three days of travel. So, as you take off, you're heading southeast in a nice, easy pace. And I believe that is where we'll end this episode. Oh. So... Gentlemen, prepare yourself. <laughs> and until next time, thank you for watching Super Cringe Roleplay. Nice episode. Thank Appreciate you for watching. It. I'm afraid to look at the comment section after this one. <laughs> I, I want to know what happens next. And thanks to our new patrons. We really appreciate it. Yes. Love thank you guys. You. <laughs> Find us on uh, Discord. <laughs> Sign up. Join us.
Thank you.